Hello perfect beauties, my name is Daisy and for today's TMI video we are going to be talking about mosquito bites because mosquito bites are the absolute worst thing about summer, really. Um, and a funny fact is my brother, when he was one years old, had a huge mosquito bite here. He kept scratching it and scratching it. It got like infected and all red and then eventually it <laughs> left a dent on his forehead. And to this day, you could actually see a big dent on his forehead near his widow's peak. And yes, that is from a mosquito bite. So if you have one, do not scratch it because it'll leave a scar and we do not want to create banished mosquito bites brand, okay? Mosquitoes are most active around dawn and dusk, so that is when you're most likely to be bitten by one. And did you know that the female mosquitoes are the ones that you need to look out for? So <laughs> women cause a lot of trouble, I'm just kidding, but be aware of the female mosquitoes because they are the ones who actually bite you and suck out blood. The male mosquitoes, on the other hand, eat or eat mostly um, nectar and water. Female mosquitoes use scent, chemicals, um, exhaled carbon dioxide, and sweat to kind of find a target. And then what they do is they kind of lock onto their target with their mouth, which is like a sharp pointy thing. The bump, itchiness, and redness is actually caused by your body's immune system reacting to the mosquito's saliva. So mosquito eggs hatch in warm weather and they remain dormant in the winter months. So how do you prevent mosquito bites? Well, actually, mosquitoes are more likely to bite people who are predisposed to some kind of genetic thing. I don't know what it is, but genetics play for 85% of people who get bitten. So really funny, my brother gets bitten a lot. My dad never gets bitten. I kind of get bitten. My mom gets bitten a lot. So I think it's a blood type that gets bitten a lot. I'm not sure, but Yes, some people are more inclined to get bitten than others. So what can we do to prevent the mosquitoes from coming? So first is to try to wear light colors versus dark colors. So dark colors um, attract heat and also they kind of make us sweat more. And that is a perfect concoction for mosquitoes because as I said before, mosquitoes like sweat. And also try to avoid chemically bug repellents and try more natural repellents instead. So what you can do is take a lime, slice it in half, and put some cloves around the lime and keep that near where the mosquitoes are near you so that way the mosquitoes won't come to you. You can also use um, an oil like Centronella and Centronella is very similar to lime. And you can find a lot of Centronella and a lot of bug repellents. So you can put Centronella oil on your skin or burn Centronella candles. Now I wish there was an oil to uh, repel the creepy guys at the club because I would definitely wear that next time I go out. Certain plants also repel mosquitoes. Geranium, peppermint, basil, lavender, catnip, and Centronella are all known to repel the mosquitoes. So if you have some of these plants, put it around your party or barbecue, or better yet, grow them near your door. Unfortunately, nothing can guarantee a mosquito-less bite, and you'll probably end up having a mosquito bite at least one time this summer. So here are some DIY at-home remedies that are safe and effective for treating those mosquito bites. One, run a spoon under hot water and put that hot spoon against your skin for a few minutes. The heat from the spoon will interfere with the proteins that cause the itchiness and help stop the itching. Number two is apply honey to the bite. So we definitely use honey in a lot of our skincare, like DIY skincare masks, and this is also great to treat acne. Well, did you know you can use honey to treat a mosquito bite? Just apply some of honey on the bite and the honey will help soothe the skin and also it has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties for the mosquito bite. Three, try to put scotch tape over the bite. If you put scotch tape over the bite, it will um, prevent you from scratching it. Now, I wish that when I was younger, I put the scotch tape over my brother's forehead because that would have had him to stop itching the bite and then he wouldn't have a scar on his head right now. The anti-inflammatory properties in aloe vera will help prevent itching. So all you need to do is take some aloe vera, put it in an ice cube um, tray, and then put it along your skin. It will be cooling and soothing. Also, apply rubbing alcohol to disinfect the area. The rubbing alcohol will sting and the stinging will help prevent the itching feeling and also 
clean the area around the bite. And try rubbing the bite with basil. So basil is known to have anti-inflammatory properties and, and as I said before, you can grow basil to repel the mosquitoes. Also, my dad gave me a tip to treat mosquito bites. Um, he says to take a like bar of soap, wet it a little bit, and apply it on the mosquito bite. It actually does work and it stings a tiny bit. So thank you all so much for watching this week's episode of TMI Tuesday where I cover a topic that you guys want to know but are too afraid to ask. And don't forget to um, comment below on next week's TMI video that you would like to see. Also let me know what are your favorite ways to get rid of a mosquito bite or to prevent getting mosquito bitten. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!